we do in senso of um, the Liberty Bell, dualistic. Oh, because this guy loves Philly, right? Uh, how do you how do you get tattooed? Oh, uh, she didn't want dang 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 like that. Yeah, that was my last one, but man, my machine's quiet. My name is Mark Wilmer and I'm a tattooer. I've been tattooing about 27 years. My name is James Gillen. I grew up an artist. I've been drawing since I was a little kid. I just always wanted an art career. And then with that, I also just wanted to be covered in tattoos. I just thought they were so sick. And then uh, around the time in high school when you're pressured to find a career, um, I was taking a college art course and we were just talking tattoos. And uh, next thing you know, it just kind of clicked in my head like, oh man, why don't I, why don't I just tattoo, you know? Did you have an appointment? Um, so then when I was 16, it just kind of clicked in my head, like, why don't I just tattoo? And then literally that day I went home, went on YouTube and like just like searched like history of tattooing. And uh, I fell in love right away from the history to like every single thing that's gone through, like every phase of tattooing, every style. I decided to just like dedicate my life to it, completely learn everything. And um, fortunately was able to get an apprenticeship like straight out of high school, so. So I'm from, uh... A little town in um, Delaware, right near Ocean City, Maryland, around Fenwick Island. So there was a tattoo studio that was going up in my town, and a buddy of mine were very interested in tattoos already. Previous to that, we were trying to make stuff and mess around with each other, and then we, you know, practice on each other and whatnot. And then we saw that shop open, so we went in and um, hit it off with everybody, and ended up getting ourselves apprenticeships. It was like uh, it's what I like feel my lap. You know? I mean, um, I was doing security at the time. It, after the military, um, I, I started doing security at the time. And I had a, a security office on Broad Street. And uh, a bunch of tattooers, like, they moved next door and and, and we got to know each other. And they, I have an art degree, so they asked me to be their boss one day and I became their boss. And you know, I went down, got a business degree, and, and you know, and that's how I got to the tattoo world. Yeah, American traditional, that was my favorite. I like to do black and gray. Um, not necessarily realism, but like illustrative, so it looks kind of real. Uh, but I think uh, uh, with realism, there's not a lot of hard lines, and I think with a tattoo, you need some hard, dark lines to hold up over the years of the tattoo. So that's why I kind of hard line realism also. But yeah, traditional, this kind of stuff is my favorite stuff. Yeah, I feel like I kind of have my own like look to them. Um, I call it illustrative black and gray, or even neo-traditional black and gray. Um, as long as it's black and gray and I can kind of make it look like my drawing, I love that. I'm not a colorful person. I've never been. I, I only own the color black. And everything I wear is black. And uh, even before tattooing, I really excelled at like pencil and charcoal and all that kind of stuff. And uh, So when I started tattooing, you've got to do whatever comes to the door. So I was doing color. And like, when I would do color tattoos, I didn't have too much fun. And then when I do a black and gray piece, I just had like the best time. So I decided I want to be the best, but I want to be the best in what I do. I love roses. I love flowers. It's like living, it's a living thing's energy. Um, the way a flower opens like this, you know, it's energy, it's love. Um, also like flowers is like, if I can tattoo a, a rose and I master it, I mean, I can tattoo anything. We have, it vibrates, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, when you're, when you're really doing a positive um, piece on somebody and they're really having fun, you're really having fun, your vibrations are really high and the machine's vibrating. I think it, it's very spiritual, for sure. You know, it can be. And it's almost like you're know, the Chinese type of acupuncture even, you know. So I think it's a very spiritual type of art form. Man, every client is a story. And that's what I love about my clients. I see, I, I, they grow up in front of me. They, they, they come from high school, even younger than high school. And now I'm tattooing, they got three, four kids, they got a career, but I'm still here tattooing. You know, I, through the years they grow, but through the years I get better. I get better with experience, I get better with my vision, and I, I just want to give them something that will last forever, good ink. I guess what I like more about it is like, I get to be with somebody. I kind of, I grew up pretty alone, and uh, drawing was like that outlet out, but I was still just in my room alone drawing on my bed. Versus tattooing, I get to come to a shop that I get to work with some cool, like, I get to work with uh, some really cool people, and then every day it's a new client, new face. Um, I think that interaction is just really intimate. Like, literally, I'm like stabbing you, and I get to sitting pretty really close to you. Sometimes my face is like right in your face, but uh, 
it's really intimate, and uh, I got to learn some really cool stories from some really cool people. It seems like everything always turns out better on the skin. It's a, it's a medium. It's better than a canvas or paper. It just always seems it's just I, I guess because the you know maybe the uh, medium is, is organic. It's alive. So maybe that has something to do with it, but it just looks so much better on the skin all the time. You draw something on paper and it looks good, and then you put it on the skin and it looks 10 times better. So I like that reward in it. I like that uh, the people can make people feel better about themselves. Um, you know, if they have like some low self esteem in one area, you give them a tattoo and that helps that, helps that out, you know. So I like the reward in that too, where you make people feel good about themselves. I love tattooing like um, scars. Um, because it changes people. Uh, when people come to me and they want me to cover scars, first of all, they, they, they wear clothing that covers the scars for the rest of their life until it looks really nice. Like I remember this one lady, she had a C-section. I covered a C-section. I'm doing real nice with, with the outline. I made it into a cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. And then she was so happy, she started looking up like um, swimwear. First time in her life she's looking up swimwear. So she can show off her body. And that made me feel great. You know what I mean? Like cover scars that they hide. Or someone who like self-inflicted scars. And I cover it. And they, they love it. And that, that makes me, that very rewarding for me. Because when, when I see the reaction in their face and they, I see that they tear up. Man, that, that makes me warm inside. Because it's real energy. It's real energy. Um, just follow your passion. It'll take you as long as you follow your as long as you follow your passion, you'll be happy in life and you'll do what you want. So if you want to pursue tattooing, then do it. You know, I'm not going to tell you not to. Um, but you get out of it what you put into it. You get out of it what you put into it. I mean, that's pretty much with anything, but especially tattooing. You get out of it what you put into it. So if you're not putting much into it and expecting a whole, whole lot back, then you know, there's no balance there. <laughs> so. Never give up. Be very persistent about it. Uh, like even in your spare time, doodle. If you can draw, you can doodle. If you don't draw, it might not be the, the right path for you. Because when you draw, you create it. Your hand will flow. Just like the tattoo, your hand will flow. You gotta go with the flow, the energy, and mood, and, and how you feel that day. But consist, be consistent with your drawing because you're tattooing. Eventually, you're gonna get Tunnel. But that's good though. You know what I mean? That's so my advice would be draw, paint, to be you know, be very creative. So I'm I'm a dreamer. Like dreaming is what I've always done and uh I always dreamed really big, but then uh as I got a little older I learned something really important and that's like set achievable goals for yourself. Like yeah you can say, I wanna be a tattoo artist or I wanna do this, I wanna do that. There's all these steps before that. So it's like, learn how to draw this first, build a portfolio, next goal, find an apprenticeship. You gotta set steps. You can't just reach for the sky right away. You gotta, you gotta take the steps to get there. And I think a, a lot of people skip out on that or, or try to bypass it. It's like, it's the climb, you know? Like the journey to get there is the most fun, but also the most important thing. Um, so you, you just gotta make sure you actually work for it because uh, nothing will get handed to you in life.